We talked about this kerfuffle between Saudi Arabia and Canada that started when a Canadian official called out Saudi Arabia on Twitter for their human rights record, understandably, and the oppression of dissidents and journalists. And specifically, Canada was calling for the release of jailed women's rights activists. And Saudi Arabia immediately pushed back against Canada's human rights record. And you might say, what 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 human rights record of Canada's was there to push back against? And we've now learned that as Saudi Arabia was doing this, as Saudi Arabia was criticizing Canada for their human rights records, they crucified a man at Mecca for theft and murder. First of all, what would Saudi Arabia criticize about Canada? It's kind of a weird thing. It's a weird combination of things. Number one, Saudi Arabia criticized the arrest in Canada of a Holocaust denier named Ernst Zundel who was convicted of spreading false news in the harm of public interest. Saudi Arabia felt that that was a violation of human rights. Saudi Arabia criticized Canada because Jordan Peterson something. It was like some people don't like Jordan Peterson and what Jordan Peterson says, even though Peterson's never been arrested, that was part of the Saudi critique of the Canadian huh. human rights record. That Jordan, happened? Jordan Peterson is a prisoner of conscience, I think they said. Saudi Arabia says I mean, it's it's almost like I'm lead, reading an onion article. Saudi Arabia says that Canada has a high rate of persecution of women. Hardly true about Canada, but very true about Saudi Arabia. And Saudi Arabia also in the middle of all this put a picture on social media of a plane crashing into buildings in Toronto, sort of reminiscent of the 9-11 attacks carried out, of course, mostly by Saudi individuals. But then when the public was appalled by that, they republished the picture sans the plane. The plane had been removed from the picture. So the criticisms by Saudi Arabia of Canada make no sense whatsoever. But meanwhile, they crucified a guy as part of a state sanctioned capital punishment death penalty incident that is regularly carried out by this extremist Muslim theocracy. A man in Saudi Arabia was accused of ser serious crimes. No one's denying that breaking into a woman's home, shooting and stabbing her, which killed her really, really horrific crime. And the country decided that the punishment for this man would be crucifixion, which is when you publicly hang the body after the execution has taken place, taken place backwards, totally dark ages practice. And what we need to be doing immediately is getting away from fossil fuels altogether, because then Saudi Arabia's alliance with the United States becomes increasingly irrelevant partially. So there's this immoral alliance that I've pointed out for a decade at this point with Saudi Arabia and our continued sale of more and more weapons to Saudi Arabia is part of it. Our shared goal of Middle East, Middle East stability, mostly based on oil, is a big factor. If you stop using oil, you stop needing oil and you can get away from the Saudi Arabian alliance. However, it's now a lot more complex because we make money off of Saudi Arabia. Military industrial complex companies make money selling Saudi Arabia weapons. Defense contractors make money doing business with Saudi Arabia. So now it's much more intertwined than oil. But this is like the last country that we should be having an alliance with. Yeah, one would think that we would have more of an alignment with Canada on this because it's about human rights. Yeah. But the Trump administration is staying silent on this. Yes. Meanwhile, we're uh, ramping up the tariffs on Canada, yet there are no sanctions on Saudi Arabia, and we just gave them a $110 billion arms deal. So yeah. it's all messed up. So Saudi Arabia is epically hypocritical by saying that Canada's human rights are a problem. But then all the countries that do business with Saudi Arabia, like the United States, but claim to care about human rights, are also huge hypocrites. And this may well lead to Canada cutting ties with Saudi Arabia, which I would love to see because those ties are a disaster. And as a quick reminder, to kind of like paint the, the broader picture for you here, Saudi Arabia is a member of the United Nations Human Rights Council. They crucify people as part of state sanctioned death penalty proceedings. I cannot imagine something more ridiculous and immoral. Today's program sponsored in part by Blinkist.com slash Pacman. I've talked about Blinkist before. It's this awesome app that I've been using for several months now. And what it does is take the best and most critically acclaimed nonfiction books and condenses them into 15 minute audiobooks that you can listen to in one sitting. You could listen to 10 books in an afternoon. I know that many in our audience want to expand their horizons and learn more about all sorts of different topics. 
but we're mostly limited by time to some degree. I know I'm not able to read all of the books that I want simply because I've got other stuff going on, and that's why Blinkist is such a great tool. You can absorb the most important information and insights from a book in one sitting, and our audience can get a seven-day free trial by going to Blinkist.com slash Pacman. If you're watching on YouTube, click the link in the video description. And after that free trial, if you like Blinkist, and I think you are going to like it, you can continue enjoying thousands of condensed audiobooks for about five bucks a month. Go to blinkist.com slash P-A-K-M-A-N.